Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Junie, and today we're going to do another storytelling. And the story for today, it is 10 Magic Butterflies by Danica McKellar. Yay! So this story is about flowers turning into butterflies and then turning back to flowers again. So if you are a kid and you're like starting to learn addition, then this story will be useful for you because it has the friends of tens. Now let's begin. They all rhyme. And also the story has some rhyming words, which is cool. Once upon a time, there were ten flower friends. Were they always happy? Well, that depends. All day long, they soaked up the sun, talking and laughing and having fun. Ha ha ha! Hee hee hee! Look, there are the ten flowers. There's this orange one and there's a sunflower. Below the sunflower is a rose and beside it is a pretty blue flower. I like that. And there's so much cool colors. I really love all of them. I wish they were real. Some of them are actually. Now let's move on. They loved being flowers, but they couldn't deny that they had a secret desire to fly. Wow, there are fairies! But I can't believe that flowers want to fly. I love fairies so much and there are fairies in the story. This is the best story I ever read. Let's move on. They watched every eve as the fairies flew from the moonlight night to the morning dew. Whoosh! Whee! There are the flowers. They're waving. I don't think the fairies seeing them. They're all so pretty. Let's move on. Then one starry night, a flower felt brave. She spotted a fairy and started to wave. The little tiny blue one. Fairy up in the sky. You see, I'm a flower, but I want to fly. Huh? Oh. There's pixie dust. Oh, it's so cool. I love this story so much. Let's move on. Hello there, my friend. You smile and you sing. Why would you want to be a different thing? There's the fairy. Oh my god, she's so pretty. She has long brown hair and orange eyes. Oh, look at that blue flower. She's a bit sad. Upset, that is. Now let's move on. Let's see what the flower is gonna say. I'm tired of being a flower just stuck on the ground. I want new adventures to zoom all around. Oh my god, oh my god, in this picture she's so stretched up. Maybe it's because the fairy is going to make her into, like, she's putting pixie dust on her. And do you know what pixie dust does? It makes you float. That's super cool. She's going to float like a flap. Like a butterfly, actually. Now let's move on. The fairy shrugged. Okay. And she closed her eyes. Time to get ready for a big surprise. I think I know what it is. Floating flowers. With a waver her wand and a bing bang boo, the fairy said, Now you're a butterfly blue. A butterfly, I thought it would be floating flowers. So I guess no one's always right. Let's move on. One butterfly flew as nine flowers looked down. There were still ten of them in the sky on the lawn. Wow, that's a cool butterfly and all those like flowers. Now there are only nine flowers, not ten. Wait a second, one and nine makes ten. That means it's a friend of tens. Cool, right? There will be super more. But this is, isn't my favorite, like, friend of tens. There's, it's another one. Let's move on. Said the bossy green one. Fairy up in the sky. Hey, make me some wings, because I want to fly. The green one is bossy? I thought it was kind but there's the fairy again. She's gonna make her into another butterfly. So I guess that butterfly will be full green, I guess. With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo, the fairy said, now you're a butterfly too. Cool, there's a now a green butterfly. She's full green. I guessed it right. And look, the in the next one, there will be showing another Friends of ten! Now let's continue. Two butterflies flew as eight flowers looked on. There were still ten of them in the sky on the lawn. Two and eight, they are friends of ten! 
But they're still not my fave. You'll find out that later, said the silly orange one. Fairy up in the sky, could I flutter and flip? Will you help me to fly? Silly orange one? That's a bit weird, but we'll move on. With a wave of her wand and a bing bang boo, the fairy said, Now you're a butterfly too. There's the little orange butterfly. The silly orange butterfly, that is. Now, there will be another friend of ten, and it is three and seven. Let's move on. Three butterflies flew as seven flowers looked on. There were still ten of them in the sky on the lawn. Wait a second, when is my favorite blue butterfly's turn? Like, it's a flower, but it will become a blue butterfly. Okay, let's just move on. Next, four and six. That is my favorite friends of ten. Bing, bang, boo. Then five and five. The brand new butterflies felt alive. Now let's move on. Yes, one by one, they filled the sky as the sweet little fairy helped each to fly. That's a really kind fairy. But all these butterflies look so pretty now. This is super duper beautiful. I love it here. The ten new butterflies flew all night, zooming and swooping. What a sight! Zing, zang, zoom! Wow, they're all so cool. When the morning came and the sun peeked through, the wings were tired and the wind really blew. Oh no! That's why a butterfly was always sleep at night and always flutter her wings in the morning time. That these flowers should understand. But they don't really know. Because they're flowers. Let's move on. Whoa! Boing! Todd! Oh my god, that is some crash. Let's move on. They watched other flowers soak up the sun as bees and birds kissed them one by one. Now they're upset, I guess. And then they said, together all ten, we actually want to be flowers again. It was fun to fly, but now we're sad. We really do miss the things we all once had. Sniff, sniff. It wasn't bad when we were flowers, so strong and sturdy with lots of powers. We made perfume and cleaned the air, gave plenty of nectar for all to share. Wow, now they're really upset. Let's move on. I thought you'd change your mind, she cried. Who cried? It's the fairy. Oh yeah, it's the fairy. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> the grass is always greener on the other side. Wow, that's actually true. Sometimes we wish for different things, to change color or size or even get wings. I never asked a wing. Okay, now let's like move on. But big and tall or short and small, being ourselves is the best of all. That's really, really true, little fairy. So let's go back to you being you with fairy dust and a bing, bang, boo. Yippee, then. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. They floated down to the garden floor. Then, now th seven on the ground and three to go. Then three to one, zoomed high to low. Wow. The last flowers are a pink flower, a beautiful lavender colored petal, purple flower, and a sunflower. That's cool. Was that a dream or did they fly? Can flowers end up with wings in the sky? It's a horse and a dog talking. Who knows what happens while you're asleep? Could dogs become horses and bugs become sheep? Nay, bah! <laughs> yes, magic surrounds us. It takes many forms, from rainbows and moonlight to tropical storms. Frogs come from tadpoles that swim in the stream, and each night you grow with every dream. Wow! So don't be surprised if this story is true, and magical butterflies come to see you! Oh, I would love that! In this little girl's room, there are so much butterflies! Like, the mattress is butterflies, the blanket is butterflies, even there's a little butterfly, like, curved, like, curved into the wood of the bed and there are some cool butterflies like hanging i really like this house
You might see one fluttering late, late at night or in your dreams. Sleep tight. So that's the end of this story. I hope you really like it. And please subscribe, hit the bell, and don't forget to click the smashing, smashing like button. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.